It moves to the object. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> In the year 1997, when Venerable Geshe-la opened the first Kadampa World Peace Temple here at Manjushri KMC in England, he said, we are giving people the opportunity to hear and practice Holy Dharma. This is the main aim of creating this building. Each of these temples and centers offers to the local people qualified programs of modern Kadampa Buddhism. If they take the opportunity, they can practice the teachings and solve all their own problems. The main programs are the general program, foundation program, and in some cases the teacher training program. And all of these temples and centers, of course, require qualified teachers of Kadampa Buddhism. These teachers can only come from within our own students. We cannot buy qualified Kadampa teachers from anywhere else. We have to create them from within our own tradition. There were many, many things I enjoyed about ITTP. It's hard to single one out. Just listening to Dharma, just doing that is enough. My practice as a Dharma practitioner grew. grew. And then by listening, you can take it into your heart, contemplate, meditate, and then put it into practice, and then be an inspiration for other people. My classmates grow and change and mature. The warm spiritual friendship that has developed between all the ITT peers, which has helped us all to dispel all doubts and make the Dharma clearer and closer. This year, I would like to thank very much all of the sincere students who have completed the six months intensive teacher training program here at Manjushri. They are making a significant contribution to fulfilling Venerable Geshe-la's vision for world peace and fulfilling the wishes of living beings to solve their daily problems. They're making a sublime offering to their guru. I'm gonna take away just a deeper understanding of Gadam Dharma. The confidence to teach Dharma and uh, the tools that I need to do so. You get a little taste of what it feels like, you know, the responsibility of the commitments by your own personal practice. And that's not something you can get unless you do the job or you do this course. <laughs> I know about the responsibility of what it means to be a teacher. And not so much in my teaching, but how to behave myself. You can give that example to others. And that is what it is to be a Kadampa teacher dealing between uh, worldly life and uh, spiritual life. I would like to be one of uh, these persons to spread out the pure Kadam Dharma in our world, in my country. It's been a great privilege to learn from one of Geshe Kelsang's uh, most uh, senior disciples. I would like to suggest all Kadampa students think, you know, consider training as qualified teachers for the future. This is a very meaningful contribution to world peace and a very sublime offering to our Holy Spiritual Guide. This world needs qualified teachers of modern Kadampa Buddhism. It's been those moments when uh, we were together as a group and, uh, and Genna would uh, quote, uh, read, give us an oral transmission of geshe -la and it became silent in the room, and we could feel the blessings. As you can tell, that was very touching for me. Geshe-la is helping us all the way through. And if you think about it, the center, all the people here, even Genla Kenrab, all these teachers, they all come from Geshe-la. You cannot think of Manjushri and not think about Geshe-la, it's just, it's just the same.